everybody Greg with the Fix My Bleak channel thanks so much for joining me today so this is going to be a quick installation video on the Pentair it's the IntelliClor salt chlorine generator and so basically it's this unit right here the one I've got on my swimming pool is probably uh, over five years old it's been flashing red lights it's just not generating chlorine anymore so it's time to go I've got an existing power unit so we're not going to swap that out so it's just the generator unit so let's get to the video let's check it out all right as you can see my old unit will sit there and flash between the red and the green and uh, that's one way you know that your unit's worn out um, this one I've had over five years and our pool guy has actually said hey you guys need to replace this a few times and it's just time and rather than have the pool guy replace it this will save you three to five hundred dollars just doing it yourself and it's a quick and easy replacement and right on the bottom you'll see the flow directional arrow right there this one's easy you just install it right side up you come over here to your pull panel and you'll just want to flip all your breakers off shut everything down here everything's off you're going to want to uh, find and unscrew your cable that goes to your IntelliClor salt chlorine generator, your Pentair. Looks like our cable has some loops in it, so you might need some uh, clippers and just unclip some of the uh, wire ties or cable ties that we have on there. And then we'll just unscrew it right here at the bottom. Yeah, we're looking at the big cable here. We'll have to undo a couple of these wire ties. They're super brittle. They've been out here for a while. And then we just follow up the big cable and it unscrews out of your bottom of your breaker box. Okay, there's what the cable looks like. And that runs your IntelliClor salt chlorine generator by Pentair. Alright, so one thing about it is these fittings are hand tighten only. You don't want any tools to necessarily tighten these fittings. We're going to start loosening them up. Try not to get stung by all the uh, bees pollinating our bushes here. All right, so you can hear the water running through that now that I've got it loose. You can hear the air draining. There we go. Just like that. Oh, that thing is dirty. I don't know if you can see the inside of that or not. But you should not have all that scale and build up in there. It's a lot of scale and build up and stuff. So it's definitely time. So I'm check your seals. Usually your rings are good. Now this set does come with another set of rings and everything. I don't see any reason why we need to use the other set. So we're just going to keep these rings on here and use them. The rings. Don't need them. Save them for later. Brand new unit. If you guys want, I will link this new unit. Um, I got a pretty good price on it. It is brand new, 
but I'll put a link in the video description on where you can find this. And again, this is the model IC20 by Pentair. So to install, obviously, make sure you get the flow. Same way as before, this was super easy. They just install it right side up. Try not to get any bees or bushes in here. No bees were harmed in the making of this video, by the way. But there were a lot of very busy bees hanging out here. So try to start at the top and the bottom at the same time if you can. Like I say, you don't, you're not supposed to use any tools on this. You're just supposed to snug these up really good. And they give you a nice long cord again. Like I said, that's all this came with. Just the cord, the power unit's already on the wall. And you'll probably want to zip tie it back to all your equipment. We needed new zip ties anyway, so no biggie. All right, the Pentair IntelliClor salt generator is all swapped out. Let's turn power back on and see if we have any leaks and uh, let's see what happens here. Here we go. Okay, we're back on. I'm going to turn the pump on. Here it comes. Yeah, the water pouring through the pipes. No leach yet. Okay, it finally flipped to green. Says we're good on salt. Everything looks green, which is good. I might turn this down just a little bit. We probably don't need quite that much chlorination going on. But now it looks good. Not dripping or leaking. I think we're all set. On these uh, salt cells, they do have a little panel here you can open it up. And if you look really closely at the bottom here, you can boost the chlorine output or you can decrease the chlorine output. And so also, if you'll notice, if you press both buttons simultaneously uh, for 24 hours, you'll get 100% output. So you just want to read up a little bit on that, and uh, there's some different things you can do with this. So that's how you change your chlorine output, is you can just adjust. You can do more, you can do less, just by adjusting these buttons. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.